stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Man, the sun looks really nasty. No, it's true, it does. The sun looks ugly. For ugly. I've been watching her for a long time, and I think she's beautiful. In heart, mind, and spirit, soul. I'm not saying anything negative against you. But if sunspots were kind of like pimples, you need some medicine, girl. You need to go see dermatologist for the sun. It's starting to worry me. Hey, maybe that's why NASA's turning off all the sun cameras, because they got a bunch of hipsters, and hipsters don't like looking at ugly people. So maybe they're starting to be like, oh my God, the sun is getting ugly. Let's not watch. We can't. Well, okay, whatever. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Thor News' Sunday Sun Watching Program. I'm your host, Thor, and I've been covering the sun's double-peaked minimal solar maximum. That is bizarre for about a year and a half now. And in light of the announcement that the stereo cameras will be taken offline relatively soon, and an official reminder that the Soho sun cameras are also old and might break at any minute, we might as well enjoy these cameras as much as possible. Now, I do want to say thank you to everyone at Soho, at Stereo, at Sechi, and at Artemis Solar IMG, and at Helio Viewer. Over the last year and a half, your work and efforts have allowed me to make the awesome sun videos that I have made. Whether or not the date is real, you guys put out good work. And I'm pretty positive you're only working with the tools and the structures that are imposed on you by higher power. So, in that regard, it's us, the citizen's fault, not the middleman, the technician, the skilled one. You know what I'm saying? I understand this. All right, so, with that said, oh wait, one more thing. In these videos, I do talk, but the photographs and the images do all the real talking. So, there's no real pressure on me to say anything important, other than, in relation to the stereo camera, here's where the earth is, and here's where the sun is. So, if you don't like my personality, I suggest you turn down the volume, put on some music you like, and still watch. Because Thor News is the place you will find more comprehensive, across the board, from multiple cameras, footage, than anywhere else in the world. On a weekly given basis. So, uh, until someone beats me on that subject, I'd recommend coming back. And you don't have to say, hey, thanks for putting in a shitload of work. To put all this together. It's 2014, you know. Well, they want it used to be. All right. With that said, I will now get to my own commentary. For those who like my thoughts, opinions, jokes, and stupid jokes. And even the ones who enjoy it when I sing. When I sing. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, we're pumping up and getting ready. Stereo. I'm talking about the stereo ahead. Core 2. We're going to go from uh, the 1st of July to the 7th of July. Er now. Sweet, sweet. And I do want to remind you, science has been acting in very unexplainable ways. I'm sorry, the sun has been acting in very unexplainable ways for a while now. Filaments have been prolific and huge. Everybody keeps repeating the meme that, oh, sunspot numbers are low. But hey, guess what? The activity on the sun, which is what matters, is high. And at times, the whole solar flare sunspot definition of solar activity is oversimplified and much like how government adds up inflation. When government goes to count inflation, they don't count two things. One, energy, your electricity bill, or a gallon of gasoline. And they don't count food, right? You know, so like eggs, ham, bacon, butter, cheese, that shit's skyrocketing. And your gas prices are skyrocketing. Hey, there's no inflation. And to me, that's kind of how the whole solar system of observing and reporting is set up. Kind of broken, maybe on purpose, maybe not. Ackman's razor, I just pronounced it wrong and I don't care. Ackham's. Okay, so like, you know how you got Phil Plate? He generally talks about science. Specializes in asteroids. Amy Mainzer talks about comets. Specializes in asteroids and in near-Earth asteroids. Don Yeomans, he's a debunker. Man, he's a pro-debunker. Bill Nye, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Guess what? They talk about astronomy. Well, who do you know that is a solar expert? Like when they gotta turn a camera to a guy that's a solar expert. You know anybody in that group that's solar expert? Nope, me neither. 
I don't know of any, like, man, if I got to turn to a dude that I'm going to kind of listen to, I, I don't know of anybody. Sun's a weird thing. Now we've got over 15,000 satellites pointed at Earth. And soon we're going to have less than two satellites pointed at the sun. That's weird, don't you think? And shouldn't we have learned to put up a giant grid that harnesses the sun's energy by now? You know, float it out into space and put a chain on it or something? I'm real disappointed in the uh, abyss that stands between the 1% and the 99. But hey, maybe we're lucky they, they let us live. And I guess I'm lucky that they let me have a YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. We are now diving into my commentary on Stereo Ahead Core 2. This will be taped live. Excellent, I'm excited. The sun is just the white circle in the middle. They have an occulting disc around it to block the light. As you can see, the sun has wings and a head that stretch out 7 to 8 to 10, 11, 12 times longer than its own length. Plus, remember, the sun is flying through empty space, asterisk around empty. So it has those jets. Let's call them arms, if you will. Or like the, the sun is holding a flashlight or a lightsaber. See that one line. Now it's holding a candle over there. And then it's got like a dagger of light. Down there, the foot, at the bottom, it's its tail like a bird. You know? Okay. See? It's just weird that the sun has so many things. It's weird that the sun has so many pillars of light shooting out of it, wouldn't you say? I would. And scientists always talk about, hey, the sun has enough hydrogen to go through its process for five billion years. Well, it never looks like the sun is up. Using that hydrogen at an even rate. And I want to remind you that that whole weird supposed hair in the camera thing, that's just always weird how it comes and goes. It seems it reacts to light. You know what I'm saying? Now over to stereos behind Core 2. C-O-R-2. Stereo behind C-O-R-2. Starting in July 1st. For some reason, this camera is always darker. I think that's Mercury swimming at the bottom. But if you notice at the top, the sun is shooting out stuff that looks a lot like a dragon head. I'm not claiming it's an actual dragon head. I'm saying it kind of looked like that to me. You know, as a kid, clouds look like stuff. And if you notice, on top of the black disc, there's some weird thing that's just kind of hanging off in some weird fashion that looks like it has a tail. Well, maybe that's our baby sun planet thing, you know? I don't know. But if the sun is a giant basketball of light and it's flying forward, the, that one looks like a jet now. And all that light is shooting out the baby sun. You know what I'm saying? That looks like the baby sun spinning around. That's creepy. Fireworks go off in the background. There's that dragon head again. Hello, dragon head. <clears throat> we will now kick on a... If you look over here, like... Over by the... So the baby sun thing would be here... You know, mix it with my other videos where I showed you there was a weird coronal crown cavity, I believe is what the scientists call it, by the sun. I guess they were put in that air because they flip-flop shit around. And, uh, yeah, so it would look like the jet of plasma light shooting out the baby sun. Well, holy crap. Neutron star? What if they're sensing it? It means. Okay, now we're going over the stereo ahead HI1 camera. I think we're looking at Earth and Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. And these are kind of slow and easy cameras. Feeling easy like I'm understood. 
Hey, see that giant winged orb looking thing in the back? Yeah, I've been watching that thing. That thing's weird, man. That thing's real weird. You can see a lot of crap in the clouds if you stare too long, you know what I'm saying? Man, we're over at the stereo behind it. I won. Our galaxy's core is passing by to the right. Looking at Earth, or we're looking at Venus. Maybe it's Mercury. I don't know. I forget when I checked the planets, what planet was going on. I'll double check. These cameras can be extremely exciting or very boring. Although it is weird. Notice how at the top, it's like totally black. And on the bottom, it's totally black. It's like really, somehow, because the sun is to the left. The sun is right here. You know, like if I, I'll show you another one too. The sun is right here. Wait, the sun is here. See, like the sun is supposed to be in this area. The sun is over here. They can't point it right at the sun or you'll just get white light. And then over here, the sun is over here. So the fact that like this blackness, like somehow the sun is pouring out blackness, man. It's a metal fan. And then, you know, like, oh yeah, the sun is really dark down here. That never makes a lot of sense to me. Uh... If I, if I was on good terms with a professional scientist, they could explain it. Though some amateur professional scientists would come out of the work, word work and try to explain it in one pass and then call me a dumbass. And I'm like, what? No, that doesn't. That's stupid. All right. So now we're looking at the infamous stereo ahead HI2 camera. And if you notice, it's got 34 frames on it. <clears throat> and we kind of skip from... We don't get a lot of frames from the third to the fourth, to the fifth. Once I noticed, hey, once I made a video and was like, hey, dude, look, the comments on there. Then, then, you know, they were got pretty stingy. Yeah, so on the stereo head HI2 camera, we have comment C2014 Jacques coming through. There's a weird discrepancy. Because if you notice over it, don't you, lo don't you love these big blocks we get, you know? It's like, hey, we had to block this part out, and then we had to block this part out. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Thank you for protecting me from shit that would hurt my brain. All right, stereo behind HI2. Here we have the Milky Way Galactic Core. We have this giant weird thing that I've been watching for a while. I mentioned it was weird on the other one. Oh, don't talk about that? Okay. <laughs> and they blocked it out. Okay. And then you have those weird lines. Weird lines going through my mind. Boom, boom, don't, 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 don